hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel wherever you're watching may god bless you how are you doing i hope all is well so today i'm so grateful unto god because we are life in the land of you not of him that win it or him that win it but of the lord that trained mercy is the one that kept us alive let his name alone be highly exalted in the name of jesus christ amen my name is ujumwa chinwe and i want to appreciate all my subscribers you guys are amazing may god bless you and keep you and if today is your first time you're coming across on this channel Please consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel and all your notification bell each time I upload a new video. Go to be the first person to be notified and be part of this family. As you're doing so, may Almighty God bless you and keep you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, right now, before I proceed on, I want to welcome the presence of God in our midst. Abba Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for your mercy. I welcome your presence in our midst. Come out of your way in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, today, I want to share what God showed me in my dream about. My people Biafra and Igbo and about our leader Nand Kalo. Hallelujah. Amen. Please listen very, very carefully. Okay. So, number one, I want to start the one God showed me about our people Biafra land. Okay. Before I dive into our leader Nand Kalo. Okay. Please listen very, very carefully. And after this video, share it. Okay. God bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. I saw this. In my dream, I saw our people was crying in my dream. When I saw them, I was asking them, what is the reason? Why are they crying? And I saw our old men, our old women, they are crying also in that dream. They told me that Funani people, they came into our land and started chasing them out from their houses. Hallelujah. Amen. And right now, Funani people have occupied their houses. There is no place for them to live again. Funani people have already taken their belongings. Hallelujah. Amen. So when I saw our young men, saw our grandmothers, our grandfathers, our children, they are crying, they are weeping. Seriously. I was weak in that dream. So I told them, we are going to pray right now. We are going to, you know, seek the face of God. So as I was talking to them, when I looked behind me, I saw Funani people. They are coming towards us and they are laughing at us. So when I woke up from this particular dream, I was thinking in my mind, what could be the meaning of this dream? So our grandfathers our grandmothers crying weeping in the bush like a baby hallelujah amen i know that funani people they are killing us it's not only killing the ones they want to take our belongings they want to take the houses of our 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 people they want to frustrate our life in our land they want to make us to be a slave under them but God will never allow such things to happen because we are the children of the light and they can never cover us. Hallelujah. Amen. So that is why I decided to share this dream. Let's pray. I know we have been praying. Let's pray more because prayer is the key. Okay? So, let's pray more. God is going to fight our battle. So, this is the time. For us to do what? To pray more, to seek the face of God. It's not the time for us fighting each other. This unit, hatred, envy, jealous, anger, malice. No, please. Because if we have a gross heart or wicked heart, God will never answer our prayers. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, let that be love. Let that be genuine love. Let us be unit so that when we pray, God is going to answer our prayers. And I pray, may God help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. So the second dream I had about our leader, Nande Kalo. What I saw in my dream, those people that captured him, government that is holding him, some of them have agreed to release him to go now. Why others were saying, let's detain him so, so, so time. Hallelujah. Amen. But others have already agreed to release him to go. Hallelujah. Amen. So, 
if you are watching Ibo on Ibo, I will on I down right now. What is that word? Prayer. There is something that happened in the Bible about Peter. Herod captured Peter. King Herod captured Peter. Hallelujah. Amen. And Bible says, prayer was made without ceasing. Who prayed? The brethren, the children of God, they prayed without ceasing. They prayed for Peter to come out from that prison. Bible said, in the night, God sent his angels to go and lose Peter from that dungeon. And the angel of God went and loosed the bounce upon Peter in the night and brought him out from that prison. With God, all things are possible. So we are going to pray. We want God to release him now by the power of God. Let God send his angels to release him now, not tomorrow. Hallelujah. Amen. So this is going to be our prayer. No, we don't want that voice. We're going to silence that voice by the power of God. So God is going to convince them. God is going to bring him out. So we are going to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. And I know God is going to answer us in the name of Jesus. And we are going to have that victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Help us to read the word of God. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 29. He says, The secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever. He said, The secret things belong unto God. And those things God revealed belong to you and I. And when God revealed, we need to do something. Okay? That's why I decided to share this video for us to pray more. That God will send his angel to bring him out. And God should bring peace in our land. So those voices that sing to so time, may God silence those voices. And we want his release now. Hallelujah. Amen. And God revealed for him to redeem. That's why I love God. Okay? So I pray may God help us. May God give us grace to pray more, to seed more until something happens. Until God give us freedom. Until God give us peace in our land. Until God bring our leader out from that dungeon. Thank you, Exchange of Days, for your word. I cover our prayers with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray. So, right now, before I end this video, if you're watching and you know that you're not reborn again, please give your life to God. Tomorrow might be too late. Yes. Do you know God died for you? Do you know God loves you? He said, my son, my daughter, come home. I love you. No matter your sin, I'm going to forgive you. So no matter your sin, come. Jesus is calling you. Okay? So right now you can say after me, say, thank you, Jesus, for, your, for loving me. Thank you for your mercy upon me. From today, I've decided to follow you. Wash me by your blood. Wash my sins away. Cancel my name in the book of death and write my name in the book of life. Give me grace to serve you, grace to live for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. If you pray a prayer, congratulations. You will never miss heaven. May God give you grace to serve him. In the name of Jesus Christ. See you in my name to buy for now.